if anyone has three daughters, whoever has three daughters or three sisters, and he takes care of them, he will surely enter Jannah. So this is general to a male or female caregiver. Uh, male, obviously father or brother, were looking after their ch the women in the house. And a female, uh, a widowed woman looking after her children in that case, or her daughters. He will surely enter Jannah. Surely enter Jannah. Illam yamna'mani'un. This is the explanation that's normally given in all these types of ahadith that mention that a person will be will be allowed to enter Jannah as long as there's no obstacle or there's nothing for that person that, that he has to answer for in his book of his or her book of deeds. Meaning if a person they all they did was they looked after their three daughters or three sisters and then they passed away. If as long as they didn't commit any sins that they would have to answer for, they will be allowed to enter straight into Jannah. But if they did anything that they would have to answer for, then they will have to answer for that. And then, as we explained previously, it will be up to the divine justice system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will either forgive the person for the wrongs that they've committed, or he will make that person spend time for, you know, carry out the sentence for the wrong that they have committed. Allah protect all of us from Jahannam. Or he will... Um, he will consider it forgiven, as mentioned. Not viewing them as a burden, okay? Uh, this is very important because a person should never feel that they can accomplish so much more, but now because of these siblings or because of these daughters who aren't able to provide for themselves. Again, take into consideration that وَقَرْنَ فِي بُيُوتِكُنْ This was the command that was given to the أَزْوَاجِ مُطَهَرَاتِ أُمَاتُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ That stay in your homes. So it was the general teaching and the general um, environment of the women in those days that they would stay at home and the men would provide. Obviously, looking into our circumstances, there are uh, there is nuance involved where if a person is not able to make end meet ends meet, sorry, with a single uh, with a single income, so they need two people to work. A family income is required, and the woman want to wants to enter the workforce in a way that can continue to preserve her hijab and her modesty, then there is leeway for that. But generally generally speaking, the man is in charge or is responsible for providing for the family. So when that happens, then a person shouldn't view the female uh, offspring or siblings as a burden for this person to continue. They should happily take this on. They should happily fulfill his responsibility towards them uh, so that... Uh, in fulfilling his responsibility towards them, he's enjoining the ties of kinship. He's getting reward for sadaqah, as we will explain in a few hadiths later on. And the biggest thing is he's getting the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.